What's up everybody? Derek here with the Bass Factory and today I wanted to go over my top five lures that I use whenever I'm fishing for bluegill and sunfish. My first lure for bluegill and sunfish is a real easy one and it's a rooster tail. These things are really simple and they're really popular and you can get them almost anywhere. Uh, in different sizes, just I, this one I believe is a 1 8 ounce which is usually what I typically like to use because I can get good long casts and they don't sink real fast so you can reel them real slow but it's real simple. It's just got a shaft, a blade, a weight and a treble hook with a little bit of skirt flare. and you just basically toss it out to where you want to and you got to use light line a lot of times on a spinning reel. Pretty much for all of these baits are going to be on a spinning reel. You don't want to try a bait cast or anything, but light line, uh, I try to stick to fluorocarbon, but you can use light braid. Um, but the, the idea behind these, you want to reel them real slow back to you. The slower the better. Uh, on sunny days in the shade, it doesn't really matter what you do, but in clear water situations, these certain things work awesome, especially when the bluegill and sunfish are really chasing bait and they're really, really aggressive and active. But this one, the fluorescent, you can't go wrong, but you just got to kind of play with your, your colors as you're fishing along, whether it be on the creek or the river or the lake or wherever you're at. But you can mimic minnow perfectly with a silver blade or you can go with that gold blade. Or if it's a little bit muddier water situation, you can even go with that fluorescent blade, that colored blade. And these things will catch you fish. And if you want a high percentage, that's why this is my number one. This one will probably catch you the most fish, I would say for me, out of all of these lures. The second lure is used a lot of the time for a lot of different species, crappie even on this one. Uh, so bluegill, crappie, sunfish, they're all basically in the same family, but this is a panfish assassin. And I've got that, I believe, on a 1 32nd ounce uh, jig head. These things work awesome and there's nothing really to them. You can just toss them out, let them sink in just a slow retrieve with this thing and this thing will catch you fish, but not just panfish or sunfish. You can catch bass on these as well. So when you're looking with the, one of these, you will find the fish and they're real simple. There's nothing much to them. The tail is not even a paddle tail. It just has a little bit of movement out of it like that. But these things are awesome and you can catch a lot of fish on these and they have a real slow fall rate so you want to give one of these a try definitely all right this third lure is really close to being like the second lure but it's mainly an almost all species lure because i've caught catfish to bass to to bluegill uh, just everything on this lure and it's just basically a grub on a jig head uh, you could get with a paddle tail on the back or, or a ribbon tail you can get any kind of other other kind of crappie type jig on here but this one I believe is a 1 8 ounce um, jig head I believe and this one though it is like number two on that panfish assassin this one is different because I like to rig it up with a bobber above it and just basically working it really shallow I don't really like to use this real deep of course you can and work it just like that panfish assassin but the one thing that makes this different is that it has a bobber above it that's keeping it at a certain depth so you can get a slip sink bobber and you can actually run this deeper but i like to have a bobber that is attached and set at a certain depth so two foot most of the time with this one but this one will catch you fish whenever those fish are active and they're up shallow you will catch them over and over and over and over again with this one so definitely give this a try and try all kinds of different colors because you will have to figure it out as the day goes along whether it needs to be a light color or a dark color depending upon whether the sun is out or you got overcast day. So give it a try. You'll, you won't be disappointed, I guarantee. All right, this fourth lure is an awesome lure, especially whenever you've got a little bit muddier water and you want that vibration displacement or if those panfish are just not really chasing and committing to the bait completely and just being completely aggressive. And that's a crankbait. The cool thing about this is it puts off so much vibration, just similar to a chatterbait with bass. 
This thing puts off a lot of vibration in the water and depending upon what color, this one would be a really good one in some muddier water or a crawdad with some fluorescent or some chartreuse or any kind of color like that. But this one works awesome. Um, I've worked this one and the thing that I do with this one is I reel it in a lot and then I'll pause it. And those fish that aren't committed, they're interested in it but they just don't want to hit it. And a lot of times they will come up instead of chasing from up behind. As soon as you pause this and let it just kind of sit there, they'll come up there and they'll just nibble at it. And once they do that, they get a hook in them and you got that fish. Or if there's active fish and it's muddier water, fish this thing and just keep on fishing like it was just clear, normal day. And those fish will chase this thing down because of that vibration. And you may catch a lot of fish normally that you would not catch on other baits. So give this crankbait a try whenever you need to shift things up a little bit if you're not catching them. All right, my last lure really for me is a clear water lure. And with this one, I work it really fast sometimes, and sometimes I work it really slow with long pauses, and that's a jerk bait. You can straight retrieve this thing, and those fish will come up, and they'll hit it on those really days where they're really, really aggressive. You can catch a lot of fish doing that, but I like to use one of these, a twitch, twitch, pause, twitch, 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 pause, just a different kind of cadence bringing this in, just like I do with bass. And those bluegill and those panfish will explode on one of these. Just like with the crankbait where I pause it, they will nail one of these whenever you pause it. So do not be afraid to give one of these a try. Any kind, Rebel, uh, Walmart's got all the assortment if you go to the right store that you can find for all of these lures basically. But I would give all these lures a try because if you're not catching them in one certain situation and you want to change up, you've got to figure out what's going on and change up to the, the conditions that are presented to you whenever you're at the creek or the river or the lake or wherever you're at. And these lures will help you out the most to figure out where those fish are at and what they're eating. So give them all a try and let me know if you do try any of these lures in the comment section. I'd love to hear from you. And subscribe if you haven't already. Like this video if you liked it and I'll see you guys in the next one.